Hello, Internet! You are watching Mr. Axbane, and this is my very first YouTube video! Like, what? YouTube's been out for so long. I mean, I've had a YouTube account for a long time. I just never, I've never actually uploaded a video. I used to do live streaming many years ago, like, literally, like, about a decade ago. Uh, mostly Minecraft, actually, and, like, I think I did Daggerfall and, like, some retro games. Oh, man. That was so long ago. All right. This is obviously not Daggerfall, though, uh, and it's not retro. It looks actually really good for me. I tried to record the video quality, but it's about as good as my computer can handle, which is not a good computer, but it actually does well. Uh, I'm using Bandicam, too, actually, which that's been out. I, I remember hearing about that program years ago, and it works great. It's working great. I'm not affiliated with them. I just tried it out because... Another option I tried was not was not good. Anyway, we're not going to go to that. Alright, so. I'm playing Farming Simulator 22, as you can see. And we're on the Griffin, Indiana map. Which is a really cool map. It's a modded map. Uh, it doesn't come with the game. It's a modded map uh, based on a real place in Indiana, Griffin, Indiana. So, this is the map. And one thing I, I really love, actually the thing I probably love most about this map is that the top third of the map or so up here in the northern part as you can see is mostly open-ended you can kind of do what you want with it uh, there's a few fields you could buy here I was there's a really nice house up here and real big field that's actually attached to a real large piece of land too that I can't really afford uh, not yet uh, but there's mostly just like these darker brown areas are forested heavily forested and the light green is all like fields and they're not entirely flat they're actually kinda hilly which I think is nice it looks more realistic and maybe a little more interesting to work the field so I think we're gonna start somewhere up here I I think this is the default farm if you play on new farmer mode this is where you start I believe I think there's a lot of expensive buildings here and it's a large plot too it's also pretty expensive almost seven hundred thousand dollars so we're gonna start small. We're gonna start smaller. That's how I like to start usually. I'm starting out here at the the motel, and next to that is the gas station. Probably shouldn't run in the road too much. <sighs> ah, ah, he's got. Oh, right, anyway, um, <clears throat> it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be that kind of a series. I'm not gonna get too crazy. I'm a kind of a silly person though, so it'll happen just sometimes. I mean, you know, but all right. <laughs> so we're gonna head up to the. The auto dealership, and while we're doing while I'm doing that, I'm gonna uh, tell you what kind of settings I'm gonna use in the series. So I'm gonna be playing at 15 times speed. That's 15 times faster than real time. I'm gonna be playing with uh, a normal economic difficulty, but I started with the start from scratch mode and changed it from hard to normal economic because I didn't want to start with the 1.5 million that you get. Uh, in farm management. Anyway, so I'm going to start with $500,000, 200000 which is already uh, a loan from the bank, so we may try to return that initially, try to start with only 300000 which is what we'd have if we return that. So, but if we need it, we're going to need it eventually, actually sooner rather than later too, probably. I'm playing with Seasons Enabled with two days per month. I like for the years to uh, pass by somewhat quickly. The lowest you can go is one day per month, and I found that just a little too low, because the winter just passes like in like a few days. It feels like. Let's see, that would be uh, what is that? Four days? Or <laughs> yeah, I'm not good with math. Uh, anyway, it, two days per month for 24 days per year. Uh, works out works out better I think it's still kind of fast and I still skip days obviously when there's not a lot going on I'm primarily gonna do regular agriculture too uh, so or traditional farming I guess you know maybe a little bit of forestry on the side some contracts on the side uh, yeah so oh and I'm playing with crop destruction turned off but all other field options are turned on so I'm not always gonna try to get maximum yield, but, uh, because I'm not the type to try to get 100%, if I can't, I mean, if I don't, 
if I can't afford it, what's the point? You know, if you're starting out small. Anyway, but those options will be eventually. We can have all of that stuff done, like lime and rolling to get rid of the stones, and which I can only get rid of the small stones. I haven't actually, I haven't tried the other machines yet to get the large ones. Anyway, so we're at the shop. So, uh, one of the first things I like to do when I start a new, uh, new save game is to check what's on sale. I mean, I do that every morning too in the game, honestly. Almost every morning in the game, I'm like, I can't wait to see what's on sale. Alright, so, oh, let's see. Interesting. Slurry tanker. Yeah, I don't need that yet. I've never actually used that yet, uh, in the game. I'm still somewhat new to this game, actually. I've been playing for about a month. Uh, I am so addicted, though. Whenever I have free time, I'm like trying to play this game. Or I'm thinking about this game, like maybe I should try this other map, or maybe I should try these mods, or those mods. Oh, speaking of which, I am playing with mods. I'll show you that stuff. Uh, I'll show you the list of mods at some point in the series um, and explain some. It's mostly just small options, extra tractor options, like vintage tractors and whatnot. So we have also here a man truck, uh, about 60,000 bucks. I can't really, I don't, I don't need that just yet either. Um, auger wagon, yeah, I don't need that either. Oh, this looks promising. Okay, so a small header, six meter, fairly small, but nice deal on that. Over fifty percent off. I might, I might actually, yeah, I probably will buy that. It'd be nice to have a cheap. Of course, I'm gonna want to upgrade to a bigger one later, but that'll be good to start with. I might not buy it this second. Actually, I will, so I don't forget. Screw it, because I mean, it's only thirteen thousand. Yeah, we're gonna get that. It's small, but we're starting small. I like to start small. That's why I add the vintage tractor stuff. So the mods are mostly, like I say. Some vintage tractors, you can see a bunch here, because mostly to give me other options for starting a little smaller. It's nice to have a, like a stronger tractor, a more modern tractor, but they're so expensive, even the lower end ones, right? And of course, that's that's realistic. Actually, these I think these prices are modeled directly after real prices. But I like having the option to start with a weaker tractor, and there's there's trade-offs. I mean, this is one of the better ones. See this one, I like this green one. Uh, they don't have a lot of horsepower. This one only starts at 52 horsepower. And when you go to the cheapest one that I've got, I've got a, a, you know quite a number of small mods at one or two tractors. You get down to the cheapest one, only 5,000 bucks, brand new, right? Whoa, whoa. But it's only 18 horsepower, only 12 miles per hour. And being that it's an old tractor, it's not going to have a connection for. It might have a front loader up. No, it doesn't have that. It doesn't have. So you can't do front loader, float, uh, float the loader, float floater, front loader, loader. What? You can't have a front loader. I can't in English. Uh, and you can't do like a three-point attachment on the front. So you can't put a mower on. So you get a really, really cheap tractor. You can pull like a small trailer with almost nothing on it. But, well, you actually could find things to do with that. You could find. So, like a lot of times I'll get a couple of cheap tractors and then have one good tractor that I'll drive. And I'll have the AI drive the other ones mostly. <laughs> I do hire workers a lot. I like to do that. Um. I love this game. I love farming, but when I get, you know, any kind of decent sized field, even a medium sized field, I start to zone out, you know, after doing it, like it's the tedium of going back and forth. Even though I like the grind, I actually mo mostly I can handle games with the tedium. And it's very relaxing, but sometimes I like to just have the worker finish the fields. Anyway, we're going to do that a lot too. So, I also added a number of tractor or uh, sorry, trailer options via mods. Um there's just a few small ones here. Actually, I had used to have more, but I refined it. I got less. Now I think there's yeah, there's some more in this category too. Bale loaders. There's some nice in the multi -tra trailer pack mod has like two or three more modest but very nice uh, trailers. It actually can be configured multiple ways. It can be like a flatbed, like it is here, for instance. You can have a simple bale trailer. You can have one that's a little bit nicer, even a little bit nicer. Look at that. Look at that. Thing. Easy to load, but not easy for stuff to roll off of it, I would imagine. I haven't used it, but it looks nice. Forestry one for logs. Uh, and, yeah, and just a flatbed. So that's, we're probably going to get that as well. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and buy one of those. I'm going to get the simple flatbed option just for basic use to start. Now, I'm not going to bring all this stuff up, you know, to where I'm planning to start the farm all at once. But the shop is really nice. They'll always still keep your stuff there, man, for as long as you want, man. You can still you can leave it there for a month, and they'll be like, "Oh, it's here. It's perfect. We haven't. There's not a scratch on it." Like, anyway, we can get it whenever we feel like it. 
Now, if we're buying the trailer and we're starting to farm, we may as well get a little bit of seeds and fertilizer. Now, I'm also using a mod that makes uh, that gives you an option in the store, and also I think all the pallets in the production from the productions are liftable by hand without needing super strength and stuff. I know it's a little bit of a cheat um, to be able to lift these without a forklift or whatever, but some sometimes loading stuff like uh, sometimes I just can't do it like if it's getting glitchy or I'm like the oh, physics you know uh, it's not too bad in this edition of the game I'm also gonna get two bags of uh, fertilizer solid fertilizer uh, but sometimes loading you know can be oh, frustrating and it kind of takes away some of the enjoyment that I otherwise would get so I use a mod to make these liftable all I gotta do is just basically it makes them 100 kilogram instead of 500 or whatever it actually is so I can just do that to load them so yeah it doesn't allow you to pick up large bales though, which I'm not, which I like. So it's not, it's not like super strength. It doesn't let you pick up anything. You can't pick up trees and logs that are, you know, he too heavy. But it does for pallets and bags that you either buy or produce in your productions. All right, it's this nice little mod, just a, just a little quality of life thing. All right, let's strap this crap in here, and you know what? I might as well go get. I'm gonna bring up the interface because you can always walk to the front of the shop, but you can just press P also to bring up the uh, interface for the shop. Um, oh, it's near the front. Yeah, I'm also going to get a couple of these. They're cheap, and I'm loading up a trailer anyway. So, obviously, we don't need this stuff just yet. We don't even have a field or any land. We, we don't even have a tractor. We have a header. We don't even have the combine that goes with it, right? And we have it's like what are you just buying random stuff? no it's basically we're getting the basics that was unattended unattended pun there I guess all right um yeah let's get this crap loaded up now I'm gonna open up the shop again and let's go ahead and get our first tractor so since there's not a used one on sale I'm sure there's gonna be plenty that's part of the reason I installed so many vintage tractors to increase the odds, because I didn't know when I first started playing this game if modded tractors would show up for sale and used, and they do, luckily. It took a while, on my first game, it took a while for it to happen, so I thought it wasn't going to happen. I was like, oh. But then it did happen. I was like, oh. But it wasn't a tractor. It was like some implement, but it showed me that. Yeah, anyway, so sometimes these show up and use, but they're affordable and they're new as well. This one I really like. It. I, I don't know these real brands. I'm not a real farmer, so I don't know do, do, uh, how to say that. Dutes. I like dudes. Dude, dudes, dude, dudes, dudes, dudes. All right. <laughs> I don't know which one is correct. Anyway, I like this one. Starts out at 52 horsepower. You can pump it up to 55 to 62, and up up to 82 horsepower, which is what I think I'll get. So that it's a vintage tractor, but it's actually yeah, it's got a reasonable low low end, but reasonable bit of horsepower like I say I'm not a real farmer I do mostly know how to play this game though I don't I have I don't know all aspects of this game of course this game has so many things you can do like in, in equipment and things you can grow and animal husbandries you can do and ways you can change the landscape and what you can place and how you can and especially if you get mods and anyway we're also gonna get front loader attacher so obviously I don't know all the stuff in this, but I understand the basics I think and you get dark green for the color. So, I'm not a farmer in real life, but I have done <laughs> a few years of uh, raised bed gardening, and I, I, I've only had I've only had success with like a couple, like like this last year, the, the most recent year, I had success with cucumbers and the bell peppers, but all but everything else was like it just it just got wiped out by disease and bugs and like oh god. Uh, and in previous years, the cucumbers all like only survive a very short. Anyway, I'm. It's difficult, you guys. It's really difficult. Of course, this kind of farming is totally different and way more difficult. Uh, but luckily, in the games, this it's that you know it's not as hard as it is in real life. Obviously, not just the physical aspect, but also what happens to your fields. Like it doesn't usually get wiped out by bugs and stuff. All right. So I get everything. Yeah, the front loader thing. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and buy that for eighteen thousand. 
and we'll probably end up starting with at least two tractors, maybe three, so I can have ones for the AI helpers to try. But for now, we're gonna start with this. So go ahead and fire it up. Brand new tractor. Nice, 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 nice. And part of the reason I like these vintage tractors is not just that it gives you gameplay options for smaller farms and smaller starts, but also you know, when I was a kid, this was the, this was what a tractor was. Like some, you know, <laughs> this is what it was. this to me is a real. Not that those are other ones. Fake. This is the only thing that counts. Is the real thing. No. What I'm saying is, that's what I remember. You know, seeing an old tractor on an old farm. Well, even older than this, really. But it wouldn't have the cab, the fully enclosed cab. Like a big truck wouldn't have these huge tires, and, which are awesome. I mean, anyway. It just looks cool. It looks. It gives me that that feel. Like, and, and then at least those options are in the game. And then these are all, of course, like I say, the mods. And I use the in-game uh, downloader. I know you can get even more cool stuff if you go to like uh, the mod hub websites or whatever. But or whatever that. Anyway, these I got just from the in-game. It's just just easier. It's more. Let's just get the ones that are officially supported mods. I guess you could say. All right, so we're gonna head to our planned. Uh, look at this town; it's nice. We're gonna head to where I'm planning to start the farm. So, like I say, this series I'm gonna be using AI workers. I will be. Uh, I'm on normal economic difficulty, so progression won't be too brutal, like too slow. Um, which is how I like it, actually. I like it to be a little slow, but I don't want to have to do five years of farming. And actually, if you only do traditional farming, you got to be careful. You can, you can actually lose money, which is actually very realistic. That is one aspect of farming that is it's difficult to make a profit. You would think, like, I know it seems like it'd be, well, the game makes it seem like it's easy, but no, no, no. But, like I say, the game does make it difficult if if you don't do any side jobs, like you don't have any contracts or anything else, so anyway, so we will be doing a little bit of side jobs and stuff, also I'm using a mod that allows me to name the helpers, I'm using the default names, but it also allows me to adjust the pay level, so they're actually making, the my, my workers will actually make a little less than normal in the game, they'll make a thousand dollars per real time hour, and I believe that, I'll go ahead and cut that engine off, uh, oh wait, this is a little bit further up, I forgot I was actually going to go a different spot, alright, anyway, um, yeah, we gotta go a little bit further north to get to where I'm planning to start the farm. Alright, um, as I was saying, the uh, the AI, right, the AI helpers, they make about $1,000 per real-time hour, and the default, I believe, in the game is like about 2400 or 2500 per real-time hour. Which is cool, actually. It, it it scales based on real time because the tractors all work in real time. Even the, you know, even if you have a faster time scale, but otherwise you couldn't use faster time scales and have AI workers unless you just were already multi-millionaire. All right, so here's where I'm thinking. On the actually on the left side of the road here, the piece that I'm thinking of buying to start our farm. All right, just park this bad boy here. Our dudes, thank you, dudes. Now look at this. Oh, listen, listen. listen to that fresh air. Oh, I forgot to mention too. I'm using a mod called Start in Spring. And it does exactly what it says on the tin, right? It does. It starts you in spring. There's nothing wrong with starting in autumn. Actually, initially when I got this game, I actually liked that you started in autumn because it's closer to the winter, and I wanted to see the snow and everything. I love that. But um, I haven't seen a real deep snowfall yet. But it's kind of cool to start in spring because it sort of feels more like you're kind of starting first year early in the year. So that year one you can ha have a little bit, get a little bit more done. So, this is where I'm thinking of buying. It's like, you're like, well, the, well, there's nothing there. There's no field. There's no crops. There's no house. There's no, there's not even a shed. Not a single cow. I hear some birds and we got some raggedy looking trees. And I just, uh... But I like this. I like this spot. I like this area, out in the country. The reason I actually like this is because um, I've played Elm Creek. I've played uh, 
uh, what's the other one that wants it? It's kind of like in France uh, that, that comes with the, the game. I've also played two or three modded maps, and they were, I liked them all. Most of them I liked, actually. But I love this idea of starting and building my own road and, and just basically crafting the farm from scratch. I love, I, I'm a creative person. That's what really pulls me to this game. That's actually one of the main things that I love about this game is the creative aspect. So let's zoom out a bit. And I'll show you, obviously, what the actual plot is. But it's basically over here. It goes all the way even into these woods a bit, I believe. And then out to the road. And it starts, this is like the southern edge, essentially. And uh, somewhere up here, maybe, is the northern edge. And we could, you know, we could, uh, one of the earliest things we could do, actually, is mow this grass, right? Make hay or silage and make money, save some of the hay maybe for our first animals. I'll probably do sheeps and horses, I'm thinking. Or probably just starting with sheeps. Obviously, this horse is kind of pricey, kind of expensive as it should be to try and raise horses. Um, but, yeah, we could. that's one of the first things we could do to make some money is to harvest this grass. Uh, but, yeah, now let me show you on the map what we're looking at here as far as this plot of land. And of course I can expand later. Let's see, where are we? So we're up here. Thinking of buying farmland 42. It's actually only, oh, it's actually a little bit cheaper than, cheaper than I remembered. $141,600. Not bad at all. And of course I'd like to buy that probably across the road eventually. Um, and then of course that, and maybe even that and that. And I th of course I thought about starting with this one, 39, and maybe this one too. Because there's already a field plow. But, I don't know, I like this, that I can buy one plot and get a decent sized one that has a bit of forestry if I want to. And, plus when I clear that, I can get more farmland. And it's still connected all up down this road here, uh, which I can get up here, but I have to buy this plot too. Unless I just want to connect to the road down here. So, I like this spot, I like this spot. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. And there we go. Now we own this piece of land and we can start a farm, although we still need some more stuff. So, I'm actually going to fast travel. I am going to be using fast travel from time to time. Uh, we're going to go there. I, I think I'm probably not going to use the tab key, though, because I normally don't use it when I play, unless it's like a dire emergency. Simply because I like to get really immersed in the game, and it sort of breaks my immersion when I can teleport into any vehicle, even even a, even a vehicle that's occupied by the AI for some reason. And you could like you and bot you like you take their body, like you are in the same spot. You take their seat, they disappear, but they're still there driving the tractor until you dismiss the AI worker. He's like he gets under the seat, or he gets back, he gets in the trunk. And he's like, there's no trunk on a tractor. Where does he go? Anyway, it, it just kind of breaks my immersion. But, you know, that's why I try not to. I don't know. Makes things take a little bit longer, but that's it's not bad. All right, so we're probably gonna buy another Dutes, and then as soon as a good tractor's on sale, I'll probably buy my third tractor. So we're gonna get another tractor. Same options as before, except maybe not the front lo loader. Let's see, it's only a thousand bucks. We can always come back and get it another time, but yeah, I'll probably go ahead and start with it. Probably the same colors since I'm getting the same tractor. I just really like this tractor for the, from the vintage mods that I've tried. So we're going to buy another Dutes. Dutes number two. Okay, and then uh, I want to get a plow probably. Usually I start with like a cultivator because I usually start with already pre existing fields. But in this case, I'm going to make my own field. So I have to get a plow because I don't have the mod that lets you use cultivators and disc harrows and all those things that that turn the soil for to make new fields i thought about using that I almost did but for now we're just using this stuff so i've got some mods though for um cheaper smaller implements that don't take as much horsepower to go with the vintage tractors right so this is this is quite affordable um only takes 70 horsepower and still has a decent working width it's almost too good but <laughs> We gotta have something like that for the older tractors to be able to use the older tractors. Just so they just they just try decoration, kind of. All right, so I'm gonna load. I'm gonna get this plow, and then I'm gonna go ahead and actually pause 
the video and resume when we're when I'm back up at the farm site. All right, I've arrived back at our little plot of land. And all right, so I think now that we've got our two trackers, our two starting trackers, we might start with three, but like I say, we like I said before, we may wait till uh, one is available used. So we've got two tractors, identical. We've got a plow. We've got a trailer. We've got seeds, fertilizer, and lime. Now let's start a little bit of planning the layout. So. Pretty sure I want the main, the first road or the main road to come from here, roughly. I'm gonna increase the size, uh, make it circular with V. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna come off the road this way and head. This is going west. Um, And that'll be the that'll be like the driveway, the main the main road into the line. So here we go. I like to leave uh, some grass to try to make it look more natural. Even though if you just laid down the gravel, there they wouldn't be any, like a really crappy job. Whoever would deliver the gravel, like oh, you missed the whole middle of the freaking. <laughs> but it looks cool. It makes it look as if it was here for longer, maybe. Um. Which I like. All right. So, of course, all the buildings look brand new and perfectly pristine. Well, most of them do. From the, the you know, you can get some in the mod hub that are actually. I think there's even a couple in the default game that are um, kind of run down. But so everything's gonna look new anyway once we start building. But whatever. All right. So once again, this is uh, the top of the screen is north. So our road's going to come west, and it doesn't really have to align east to west, but it kind of bugs me that it almost did, but it didn't. I can just widen it a bit. Yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to strive for perfection because this is farming and, uh, there's room for mistakes, man. There's a lot of rooms, a lot of rooms, <laughs> lots of rooms and mistakes. And I, don't even know, I don't even know what I'm saying. <sighs> All right. Now it doesn't really look like a proper gravel. I mean, this is a bloated gravel road, but that's right. That's right. Our main road should be kind of big. All right. Now, what else do we need? Right? We got. Well, we need a place to sleep, and I did download some farmhouse options to give me uh, cheaper options. I'm not probably going to use the really, really cheap ones. Um, that's more for like role play. You can do a uh, role play series where you use the the doormat, place it in front of like a motel or another home, and pretend that that's where you're actually starting. Uh, but in this tent, I'm tempted to use it, but I like to have a building that I can, uh, a home that I can go inside. That's what I did for mo most of the, pretty much all the ones I downloaded that are mods, which are not that many. Uh, you can, you can walk around inside of them. So we'll, we'll actually get this tent. This is going to be our temporary home. Now, where, where would that be good to place? Where, basically wherever the farmhouse is going to be, because eventually I'm going to upgrade it, you know. So, actually, probably right about where I was about to place it, it would be good. Um, wait, let's check something here. Let's see how far... Oh, right, okay, yeah, the land goes well... Well down to beyond these these trees, and... But, this this area is probably too cramped, uh, unless it's a very small, modest house that we end up in. So, we'll probably, yeah, we'll probably will just put it right here somewhere. Um... And then, of course, we can have farm buildings wherever we like that's convenient, and eventually we'll probably own this land over here. In which case, the road will I'll probably continue it that way. Uh, but for now, it's probably going to come this way. And then, you know, like I say, the house or the tent at first could be around here. Farm buildings maybe either up here or here or here. It could be, be wherever we want. It could be... Let's see, and then I'll probably have an access road because I also will probably buy this field, of course, at some point when I expand, um, which actually would give me another access to the road. So I'll probably have the road come up, come down along this way. 
for future expansion. All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and place the tent. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. This is roughly where the farmhouse will eventually be. So, and I like to align to the grid, so it's I don't know, just some of the years seems like it's just more tidy. Once you start placing all the time. So we're gonna make it align. Is that right? Okay, <laughs> can't get it. I think that's, yeah, so uh, it's just aligning east to west, which kind of looks good for where the road is going to be. So it's probably going to, the house is probably going to face this way, so we'll just assume that it in the future will be yeah, right there. What? All overlaps with another object. Dang it. Okay, right there. Sweet. We have a home. Yeah, it's, not, it's not bad either. Look at that. It's actually got a little bit of... Uh, yeah, it's got a little bit of coziness to it and uh, decoration. It's a very plausible setup. All you get is paper towels, though. <laughs> What's for dinner? It's so, like paper towels. Oh, what are we watching on Netflix? The paper towels that are sitting on the table is that's our Netflix. No. <laughs> oh, God. I said I wasn't going to be silly, but of course I, I did. I said I, I told you guys I'm kind of silly. I'm kind of a silly person anyway. I can't help it. I can't help it. All right, this is the sleep trigger, I believe. Yeah, and the wardrobe. All right, so we got our home and we got a dormant fireplace. Too bad you can't light that up and yeah, get that going. I don't think you can. I don't think it, let me see. Uh, no, no. Okay. All right, so that's that's what we got so far. Humble beginnings, and it's uh, looks like it's almost. 6 p.m. in the game, so it's gonna be the end of the day soon. So we're we're uh, actual farm work might start tomorrow, and actually we're gonna be wrapping up this episode soon as well. Before we do that, before I go to sleep, I often forget to do this. It's really good to go if you're not using it yet. Go ahead and return any loaned money to the bank because it's like it's just sitting there. There's a pile of money. I mean, it's just gonna pay. I'll just have to pay. You know, I'll lose a few hundred dollars interest if I don't. So, uh, you lose a few, you know, depending on how much you have taken out. It's quite a bit, though. I think it's like 10% interest, and you pay every day. So, we'll return the entire 200000 loan to the bank. They're very confused, I'm sure. The folks at the bank, they're like, uh, okay. <laughs> Not often that people go through all the rigmarole to get, to get the loan, and they'll be like, you know what? Let me get that cash, and then, you know what? Take it back. Take it back. Put it back in the vault. I don't want it. I do want it actually soon, but not today. Because if I sleep, I'll pay for it. So <sighs> we're gonna sleep. Actually, I'll do that at this. Where I'll start. Next episode will start during the day, so we'll do that here. So that's it. Thank you so much for joining me for episode one. Um, I know there's not much happening yet, but I think it's gonna be cool to be able to make a custom farm like this. Just a few mods, uh, not that many, but a few, several vehicles and stuff, and then. There's also also has some cheaper shed options and some more numerous sheds and barns to choose from. So I like I like having options. So thank you for joining joining me, and uh, this will be the end of episode one of my Griffin, Indiana series. This has been Mr. Axbane. Have a great day.